Okay, I'm gonna show you how to load the uh, firewood zip line now with the vise here. Uh, first, I'll explain it a little bit. automatically release because this line here pulled it tight. It doesn't always work, but it happened this time. So I'll show you how to do that part now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is show you how to wind it up. The line. It's just a, it's an old uh, garden hose reel. It's just screwed to the tree here. Lined up. Log did release by a sub down there, by the way, I didn't have to pull on it. So the, line up. the right arm will get tired after a while. But it's not too bad. It's a lot better than doing it manually. Getting close back to the spot where it needs to be. Really close. I have a spray painted orange right here. Where it needs to go. I'm done rewinding it now. All I gotta do is load another log into the thing. Okay, so this time I have the log already loaded up. I'll you know, show you what it looks like going down the zip line. I don't want to go too fast, but not too slow. Try not to hit that stump down there. Missed it. Yay. Okay, now we're going to let it go. And it did not release on its own. So that means i got to take this line here and pull on it. Yeah. See if I can get it to release manually. Here we go. One, two, three, and go. There we go. That's what it looks like when it releases. See? All right. Piece of cake. Okay, now I'm going to show you the entire process of uh, reeling the rope back up, the hook back up, loading the log, and letting it down. Hopefully this will work.
did not automatically unload, so I'll have to do it manually. Just physics, momentum, mass, inertia, all that good stuff. Got it done now. Just about a thousand more, that's all. But it's a lot easier than uh, carrying them all down manually. So I've had a lot of people ask about the uh, pulley system up on the tree here. Uh, you can see there's two pulleys, one for the main line for holding the log on the, on the actual uh, zip line uh, roller, and then uh, the other smaller line has a smaller pulley for releasing the log. And then the main cable, the, there's a bolt that goes through the tree for holding the main cable. There's a lot of tension on that thing because it's attached to the, on the other side, is attached to the carport. <laughs> And if one of these big trees falls on this line, hopefully it wouldn't pull over my carport. And of course I have to have the big ladder go up there to work on that stuff. And down here is the, uh, the old cable reel. And then over here is my wood pile I have. These, these have been here about three years. And they're really wet even though they're under tarps. I don't know why. I guess it's just so humid. Anyway, that's what it looks like up here. And then I uh, had a lot of people ask me about this uh, stick with a rope on it here. And it has several purposes. It's just always fun to have a stick with a rope, you know. Let's see areas from a distance. Uh, I use it to, sometimes if the wood is really hard, I, I have to like beat on the the little uh, hooks to make them stick in the logs so it doesn't slip out. And then also we have bears around here and vicious deer. And we also have ermines and porcupines. So you just don't want to come unprepared. And uh, with the stick, I'm just about ready with anything. I mean, it's been a good tool for tens of thousands of years for people. So I decided to uh, join that party. That's more people ask me about this uh, little uh, shelf over here on the tree and you know what on earth did you need a shelf on a tree for? Um, I set my phone on there to play music and uh, it helps me survive out here. It's another survival tool. Yeah, it's made out of cedar so it shouldn't rot for too long and it'll kind of blend into the forest after it turns gray after a while. And then let's see Here's another view down toward our house, and right down the, uh, you can see the cable here, goes all the way down to the carport, where I do the wood splitting after the wood dries a little bit. So a lot of people have been asking me about this big tree here, it's a big spruce tree that blew down in a windstorm, I don't know, about five or six, maybe seven years ago. And I finally got around to cutting up on it next, last summer, but it's, it's a really large diameter. A tree uh, maybe 30 inches or so and of course it was laying down right here and then once I cut it it the uh, root ball popped back up and then I'll show you how far I got last year cutting it up I'm gonna try to finish this year but you can see it's a pretty big big log like here's my hand so it's pretty big and goes way up into the forest lots of limbs lots of firewood um, this is public land back here right next to our our property line is nearby so you can uh, you can uh, cut up firewood out of dead and down trees as long as you don't sell it you just use it for personal use which is what we do and uh, when you cut a tree down that's called felling it and when you chop it up into rounds it's called bucking it strange word bucking <laughs> bucking the wood and then you split it so you can dry it out in a place out of the rain and use it for firewood and that's how the uh, firewood machine works now you know toodles 
So a little a quick uh, explanation of the engineering going on here. Um, so this is called a uh, timber claw. You can order these online. It's nice. You can just lift up a log and you can see that when you pull up, it's flexible in the middle. It pulls the two hooks together and makes the, uh, the connection to the log much better, like a positive feedback system, which is what you always want here. And you got some uh, finely engineered uh, duct tape wrapping here from the uh, Gray family of duct tapes. And you got some beaners and ropes. I think this rope actually came from an anchor line from our old boat. It's pretty long. And then we have a, a petzel. Uh, I don't know what they're really called, but it's two pulleys there that ride, ride down the, uh, the cable. It was from a zip line set that I had ordered. Anyway, makes it a lot easier than manually carrying the logs down this hill, which is actually pretty steep. You can't really see how steep it is from here, but it's really muddy, has a lot of roots. So being able to just bring it down the line is a nice feature. And I've enjoyed it, except for all the pain and misery of creating it. Anyway, uh, that's the... Uh, Firewood zipline story. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, another question people keep asking is about this little stand here. I needed some kind of way to, to rest the log up high enough to the uh, cable to be able to attach it with just one person <coughs> and not having to hold the log up while I connect the hooks. And so I just got some 2 by 4 some scrap lumber, and just attached to this fallen log here. But uh, over the years, this log has slowly turned, but the, uh, what's happened is the uh, it's still upright enough where it doesn't fall off. And I just built this little area right in here to hold the log so I can pull the cable down here close enough to attach the two hooks here. And this one's ready to go. I'll show you from this angle. You can see it's kind of leaning a little bit. I don't fall off the slimy log while I'm backing up. Oh, there's a nice little nub sticking up. Anyway, you can see it's kind of leaning a bit. But <coughs> that's okay. Only need it for the rest of the summer, I think. And I'll be ready. Anyway, there's another helpful tidbit there. I hope you enjoy. So you may ask, how do you get a, a bolt in the tree? You just get a really long drill bit. I actually have one that's like mm, four feet long. It's really long. You can drill holes through really big trees and you stick a th all threaded bolt through there. And then uh, you put an, an eye nut on the end of the all thread, not an eye bolt, that's different. An eye nut screws onto the end and makes a loop. Then you uh, attach the cable and on the other end. To tighten the cable, I have a big turnbuckle that I can turn down there and I tighten the cable as best I can. There's the log getting ready to go down. I have a fun little zip on ride. They don't ever say we though. They usually just go splat. So I just uh, wanted to warn you about some of the things that are hazards if you ever find yourself uh, bucking wood and so forth in southeast Alaska in our temperate rainforest here. We have uh, two pretty nasty plants you have to watch out for. I think one of the main ones here is this thing here called the Devil's Club. Really super spiky. Very, um, grows very well here. <laughs> and the weird thing about these I swear they have some kind of uh, communication with other ones. So if you chop one of these down, then there's going to be one of their brothers or cousins behind you slapping you when you didn't expect it. Uh, so just leave them alone, respect them. They're medicinal, evidently. <laughs> so you can see they're spiky. And then we have another plant here called the salmon berry. It has thorns on it, kind of like a rose bush in a way, but it makes really good. Uh, Berries, kind of like blackberries or dewberries, not as sweet. They're kind of red and they're kind of uh, 
golden and they get riper they're a little sweeter I didn't like them at first but after I got used to them I really decided I liked them and then we have tons and tons of wild uh, blueberries this here is a blueberry bush the blueberries are uh, really small not really so sweet like store-bought ones but there's billions of them back here <laughs> um, they make little flowers and they're on their way to making they're on their way to making some blueberries here so you will not starve going through this forest with the salmon berries and the blueberries we also have huckleberries and several other ones there's one poisonous one i forget what it is you gotta be sure you don't eat that one and we have lots of mushrooms that i'm not gonna mess with mushrooms <laughs> i don't like them for one thing and there's plenty of poisonous ones but very lush veg vegetation back here always wet but uh pretty nice but just watch out for the spiky things and don't be too mean to them